of late, they would love to add their veterans, Fulkerson and Pons, to that list heading into the postseason. Great move. There's Keon Johnson, the, Johnson, the freshman, get to the middle, throwing the head fake. Think about, I mean, Michigan State. Now, that would be a little more legit if they get stuck as a, they get inserted as a two-seed. Whoever that two-seed goes out of the Offensive rebound. Shot clock down to one. Johnson launches. Good defensive effort by Auburn. Baseline off the bounce. Johnson able to wrap it on the left side. Five triples for Auburn. 15-footer is good on the pull-up fight. They actually won the second half on the scoreboard. We have a good carryover here into the first half today. Team turnovers in the first half. You can't win that way. This is a great cut. Again, right in the face of Flanagan. He kind of came over a screen up the top. Really showing his, his understanding of how to play the game to go with all the physical tools he has. Here's what the uh, draft analyst Mike Schmitz has to say. They've only taken three shots, the two big guys in this first half. Springer trying to find some room in the paint. And the foul on the drive will get Johnson to the line. ACC regular season crown for Leonard Hamilton. Went up in Gastonia, North Carolina. Jim First South breaking barriers. Player and assistant coaches in Kentucky. They are in the midst of a fight for one of the top four spots in the SEC, hoping to get a double bye into the tournament. Group starting out this second half for Tennessee. With the two veterans inside and Polkerson and Pons. Fend off the bounce today. Another drive. Johnson, good body control to keep the defender away. Good ball fake by Cambridge. Cannot dial it in so far today. And then Flanagan with the pick. And this will be Tennessee basketball. 30 Mavs and Nets. Numbers here for Keon Johnson oh. off the window as he elevates and hits. This year's draft, you saw a little bit of it now. Just hanging, going through Akinbola's body of their 52. And particularly Cambridge playing above his normal point production. And he's been aggressive, though, and he's delivered. Pines hits the corner three before Jamal. A lot of times they've come off handoffs, and they'll drive, drive right down that right lane line in this half. It's, it's pretty astounding. Pines swooping in for the offensive rebound. Flanagan fouled on the drive. The production is not nearly matched what he, was done, what he did last year. Springer getting his feet right is Johnson for three. Did he get back behind that line? Comfortably in front in the Big 12 right now. Oh! oh! Keon Johnson could not get it down! Auburn, by the way, much better in this second half shooting the free throws. Keon Johnson finds some space underneath. They continue to kind of not necessarily change the narrative around their team, but just play better basketball. And like I said earlier in the broadcast, anybody can win that SEC tournament. This is the only conference in the country where I think literally one through nine could win the tournament, which is crazy. Conclusion of this game. Flanagan tried to pass inside and a foul. Johnson. Oh, Flanagan made a heck of a play there defensively and then grabs the miss. Thank you, Reese. Six-point game. Johnson hits for three. And the foul immediately will send Johnson to the line. We're not there yet. Johnson will push and pull. One and done on the rebound by Devin Cambridge. Oh, missed them both. Johnson will go for the two this time. 5.3 to go. And they're all on their feet now at Auburn Arena. How about this now? 6-0 in outlived games. The Tigers are able to finish a close one.
when they upset Tennessee 77-72.